What's up guys? New type of video here. I'll just be talking straight from the heart. I won't be putting a lot of the crazy videos and nice editing I make on the other videos because this channel has been growing and quite frankly I need to put more content out there. So in order to keep up with the demand some of the videos are just going to be me talking. But it's about the value anyway so let's get into it. Anyway, um, so tomorrow is my 21st birthday and if there's any Thing I've learned in my life, my relatively short life compared to some of the viewers out there, is that we often think that we have a lot of time to do what we want to do. We have these grand aspirations, these grand goals that we wish to accomplish over our lives. And when you look at it from a distance, it looks like we do have a lot of time. You know, we have 24 hours in a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year. Seems like we have ample amount of time, but what we don't take into consideration when we are making our goals, when we are thinking about what we want to achieve, is the time that we spend idle. You know, humans were not built to be super effective at doing things outside of survival. Our bodies are not meant for us to attain some of our lofty goals. So, Many of the time we have on this earth will be spent just doing nothing, procrastinating, waiting around, and stuff like that. It's not always that we're going to be on our hustle, getting it in, making sure that we're doing the necessary things that we have to in order to attain our goals. So in order to ensure that we actually do reach some of our life aspirations, it is necessary for us to understand that in we might have to cut down. We're not going to be able to accomplish everything that we thought we might have wanted to do. When you were younger, perhaps you wanted to have a certain type of job or to become a professional basketball player. And as you got older, you start realizing some of these goals are out of your reach. Some of these things that you desperately wanted will be unattainable or require too much effort. That's the nature of life. That is okay. What is important is coming to... Um, an understanding of this fact and being able to adapt, being able to cut down, lean out, lean out your goals. Like you need to think deeply about what you truly want to do and you need to go just for that. You need to kind of have a tunnel vision in regards to these things. Like for me, my calling so far is, you know, partly making these videos, educating people on some of these things. Ever since I was a young man, people tended to come to me for advice. You know, I would give them advice because I had that sense of um, being able to put myself in their shoes. So I was able to give them decent advice that would help them, you know, and that's carried on to this platform youtube and my blog and what have you it's just an extension at this point in my life i'm also doing an engineering degree i'm studying mechanical engineering i'm in my third year right now so that's something else i'm doing so i can't really expect to also become a rapper or to become a award-winning author or a multitude of other things you really have to narrow it down and find out exactly what you want to do, exactly what it is that you need to accomplish before you die in order to die well. Do not do everything. If you do everything, you're going to accomplish nothing. No one wants to be a jack of all trades and a master of none. This is the problem that too many people fall for. They try accomplish too many things. They try getting to, you know, marketing, they try again to coding, they try again to writing, they try again to, you know, sales, too many things they're trying to accomplish. You you don't have enough time. You need to dedicate yourself to one thing to really understand something at an almost spiritual level if you wish to become great at it. Look at Bruce Lee. When Bruce Lee was doing martial arts, that's all he was doing. He was doing martial arts. He was trying to become the best at that. He was dreaming about martial arts his life was the embodiment of martial arts he didn't try to be a comedian he didn't try to be a soccer player these things do not help you 
find out what you want to do and double down, triple down on it. For example, at my age, I'm 21 tomorrow, as I said before, you would expect me to be playing a lot of Call of Duty, a lot of Halo 4, Halo 5, whatever the hell it is these days, or going out to a lot of these clubs and getting drunk, smoking weed, but I don't because I had to make necessary sacrifices in order to balance the type of lifestyle that I want and that I'm having, in which I'm doing the degree, in which I'm working part-time and doing this entrepreneurship, sharing my stuff out there via this blog, via YouTube, I needed to make some necessary sacrifices. And chasing girls and smoking weed does not help me in that endeavor, so I don't do it that often, you know? Well, I don't smoke weed at all, but (laughs) I don't do those things that don't benefit me because I feel like I have a limited time, and if I miss my opportunity right now, I might not have this opportunity again. And that's what you should do with your goals. You should see them as, as as sacred almost. Because too many people think that they have all the time in the world. They think that they have an abundance of opportunities. But that's not the case. It's not the case at all. You can get hit by a car tomorrow and die. Nothing's stopping that. So why waste time chasing too many things? Why not try do something and make your time on this planet somewhat meaningful by accomplishing something you know and yeah so that's that's the video guys if, if you like this format tell me i'll be making videos like this where i'll just be talking and sharing from the heart and make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed peace love and i'll catch you guys later do it just do it